Good morning guys, I am back home. I got back from Berlin last night and I'm vlogging again. I'm actually doing three videos this week. Honestly, this time of year is so crazy. I always forget how busy it is, but I'm just like leaning into it and embracing the busyness. I'm feeling good about it actually. I've kind of unpacked. I'm like the worst person. I do that thing where I half unpack and my suitcase sits there for a while. Rich is the total opposite. So he's like desperately trying to put the suitcase away and I'm like, oh, I just don't know if those like socks need washing or not. <laughs> he gets so annoyed. Today is my mum's birthday and we are taking her out for lunch. Definitely one of the best things about working. That's too much foundation, sorry working for yourself is that you can go out for lunch for your mum's birthday and every one in my family, actually apart from one of my sisters, Jojo, who recently got a different job and she doesn't work for herself, everyone else in my family works for themselves. So we've always had that flexibility, which is really nice because we can all like come together and move things around and work it into our working days. So yeah, we're going to Lena stores in King's Cross, which I've never been to before. I'm really surprised that I've never been because it's a place that people talk about all the time. I think it's like a little Italian deli. It looks really, really cool. There's a few in London and we're going to the one in King's Cross. Oh, this foundation color is too dark for me. You'd think by now I'd be good at talking whilst doing my makeup, but I just don't know if I'm that good at multitasking. So whilst I get ready and do my makeup and do my hair, I thought I would chat to you guys, apart from the fact that someone just started drilling. I thought I would answer a few questions from my recent video where I asked you guys to leave me some questions. I actually thought that maybe instead of doing like a whole Q&A video, I would just ugh, sprinkle those questions throughout my next like few videos. It feels less intense, I kind of like the idea of that. Also, whilst you are watching this video, it's actually Cyber Week. So Cyber Week is like the week leading up to Black Friday. And the way I always approach kind of Cyber Week and Black Friday is I love to chat to you guys about deals on brands and products that I already use and like and that I know you guys are already interested in. I know that during like a sale period, it can feel a bit overwhelming and intense but I quite like the timing of Cyber Week because it feels like a good time to kind of get ahead with Christmas presents and just like save a bit of money. Like I'm not really into like January sales like we've all spent so much money over December I just don't need to be buying stuff in January but this feels like a good time to like I've got so many family birthdays in November and Christmas coming up and you can get like a really good saving on stuff so I always like to give you guys a heads up with select brands that I wear and that I work with. And for this video, I'm working with Missima, a brand I've worked with for years and I've told you guys about their Cyber Week deals for probably like three or four years now, I think. I get messages all the time from you guys asking, are Missima doing any discounts? They're not a brand that do discounts that often. So when this happens, it's like so exciting and I'm always really excited to tell you guys. And I know that you guys just go mad for it because it's jewelry. Like, what an amazing thing to be able to get such a discount off like beautiful pieces of jewellery. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit later in the video about all the pieces that are discounted, show you some of my favourite pieces, but just as a little bit of a, a teaser, they have got up to 40% off this week. Some of my favourite items are included in the sale, like this necklace, which you would have seen many times before on me. This is 20% off. These gorgeous earrings that I um, wore in Berlin these are 30% off. I'll show you all of these things properly later. And then this chain necklace, which is just such a like Missima favorite. This is 40% off, like how amazing. Also, by the way, I got sent a couple of new Missima pieces recently and they've changed their packaging and it's so smart. It's a black box with this really cute little magnetic pouch orange pouch so 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 gorgeous the perfect gift for yourself or for someone else but i'm gonna properly talk you through like all of my favorite pieces put some on today style some out but first of all i need to get ready what have i done i have done foundation which is just not wanting to blend on my neck so thank you to anyone who left a question on my video. Let me see if I can find one to answer. This was the top comment under the video with 70 thumbs up. Morning Lily, would you ever consider a solo podcast with occasional guests? Topics such as foggy mornings, 
minus the one minute time cap, <laughs> snacks, TV, various topics covered in your sit down chats. Obviously the, the chat about podcasts has come up many times. I absolutely loved doing at home with the original format when we went into people's homes and that changed over lockdown, became a bit more like casual and chatty and it's no longer something that we both wanna do. But also the podcast world has changed so much since we started. When we did At Home With, there weren't many like female podcast hosts. It wasn't like, it was a big kind of male market, but it wasn't it wasn't huge like it is now. We, we did pretty well in terms of getting advertising on the podcasts, which obviously is like, when you're gonna start a new project, as much as I love my job, it's still my job and I've got less time now than I've ever had before because I've got kids. It has to be worth it. You have to be able to monetize it. It has to be worth spending time on that over other things. And because there are so many more podcasts now, that means there's less advertising revenue to go around. It's not as like profitable unless you're getting millions and millions of downloads, which is unlikely unless you're A, a huge celebrity, B, exposing yourself and being very, sharing a lot of personal stuff, or C, have like huge name guests. So something that's always come up whenever I talk about doing a podcast is like, is this financially viable? Uh, in terms of like going to record, spending time planning, organizing guests, paying for someone to produce it and edit it. If you're putting money into something, you have to be able to get enough money back from it for it to be worth it. So that's always been a little bit questionable. I also don't like the idea of having a podcast with guests. One, because it is logistically an absolute nightmare. Like when we used to have guests for at home with, we would have people cancel when we were like on the train journey there. And it's really tricky with like the limited time I have to do work. I just can't like, it's, it's you're relying on someone else's diary. So there's that element. There's also the fact that I find that podcasts, they just have regurgitate the same guests. Like, this, you hear, you see the same guests and the same people going on all the different podcasts. And I think it gets a little bit samey. Third point is that I'm not an interviewer. I'm not trying to be an interviewer, a journalist, anything like that. And I don't feel my most comfortable interviewing people. That's not really, I think, where my skills lie. I'm better at being the interviewee than the interviewer. And I always felt a bit of like a fraud when I got in myself into positions where I would have to interview someone. It just didn't feel natural to me. I really enjoy the presenting side of things, but not necessarily the interviewing side of things. So if I were to do a podcast, this is long and rambly, but you know, you asked. If I were to do a podcast without guests, the thing with podcasts is there has to be a really good format. It can't just be me sitting down chatting about things I like. There are lots of podcasts like that and I don't think they stand the test of time. I don't think they have longevity. I think after a while it gets boring, it gets samey, just listening to someone chat about nice things. Especially if you're trying to get like advertising and stuff, there needs to be a format. There needs to be something interesting, something different. A bit like how the original At Home With had this like interesting format where we were going into people's homes. I did consider doing that original At Home With format on my own, but it's tricky and complicated and hard to explain why I don't think that would work. And also, again, just relying on the guests, finding enough people that are happy for me to go into their home. It's really tricky. I have come up with a few different formats in the past, but like I said, I just don't think it would be worth the time and effort, the stress of having to plan and do it. I think when it really comes down to it, the reason I would be doing it is one, for a bit of enjoyment, but two, because it makes me look like i am got more of an official job title. Like saying you're a podcaster or you're a podcast host like sounds really impressive. I find that a lot of people in the industry often do projects or have brands or certain things because it makes them, this is not shade, this is genuine conversations I have with people. It makes them feel more secure about their job because for some reason just saying you're a content creator never feels good enough for anyone. You never feel worthy or like you have value. I don't know why it's always been like that. So people uh, want to say they're an author, they want to say they are a, a founder of a brand, they want to say they're a podcaster, they want to say everything else and people don't feel comfortable just saying they're a content creator and being proud of that. And for me, that's not a good enough reason to put my money into something, put my time into something. That's not why you should be doing something. I, I always have to remind myself of that. Is this a good business decision? Does it just make me feel better about myself? So there's a really long answer as to why I don't have a podcast and 
why I'm not sure I will have one. Something I would quite like to do is, is host a podcast that is someone else's podcast. So if a brand were to have their own podcast and they, you know, they kind of produce it and edit it and it's, it's their thing, but I am employed to be the host of it. That I think would make more sense for me. Um, but you know, it's hard to find that and it hasn't happened yet. Maybe it will happen in the future, but I hope, hopefully that answer makes sense to you guys. It pretty much did my whole entire makeup just answering that one question. This is the new Vive mascara. Vive is brilliant. Vive does not come under what I was just talking about. Like Jamie is absolutely smashing it. She like fully has like a proper amazing successful brand. It's just so, so impressive. She has surrounded herself with the right people. She's always had that niche, been that expert in makeup and it's all just like fallen into place and I'm just constantly wowed by everything that Vive do. Okay. Are there any other questions? I mean, yeah, there are loads. There are some that are tricky to answer, but I want to try. So maybe in a future video, I'll have a think about how I can do so. How has your house balance changed with Rich since he started his new job? Is more of the child life admin falling on you? So yeah, I mean, Rich and I have always both worked separately. Um, and after we had Gray, uh, we did, and definitely more of the parenting fell on me during Gray's like first two years, three years of life. God, I would change so much about that period of time. When I look back at like how I did my job after having Gray, there is so much I would change. But anyway, after having Rudy, as you guys know, Rich took extended paternity leave. So I had the flexibility of working and being with the kids. And if I got a last minute job, Rich was around to look after the kids. If one of the kids was off school or nursery, Rich was around and I definitely got used to that flexibility. And now Rich has got a full-time job, which um, by the way, a few of you have asked like how he's doing. So, so well, he's loving it, he's thriving, he's brilliant at it. Like how amazing to enter into a new industry you've never worked in and be doing so well. His manager's constantly telling him like, how impressed she is with him and it just shows that he's found something he's really passionate in and I think it's a great example of you know be in your mid 30s being able to pause rethink learn something new go on a different path and he's doing amazing so I'm really really proud of him but yeah he now works full-time and he's got a boss so irrelevant of who earns what and who earns more or less, it all becomes a bit irrelevant because when one person works for themselves and one person doesn't, you have different amounts of flexibility. Luckily his work, and I think a lot of jobs now these days are more understanding about picking up kids from school and working from home and they are amazing. But yeah, often it will fall on me just because I haven't got, I mean, I've still got people to answer to, brands that I work with and stuff like that, but it's different so often it will fall on me to go get the kids or if they're off nursery or school to look after them and I'm finding it a little bit tricky just to kind of get back to that after being so used to having all the flexibility but we are a, a team we both value each other's jobs we don't we don't have we don't have that competition over like whose job's more important than whose or sorry there's a drill but we just make sure to always communicate really well and say you know this is a really busy period for me or I've got this project coming up and just so we know where each other is at like I said to him last week please be patient with me the next three weeks are so busy and then he knows and and in January it'll be quieter for me and we just it's a constant like sharing back and forth. And of course there's times where we get emotional or we get stressed and we have little bickering arguments, but in the end, we both want the same thing. and We're both on the same team. We just constantly have to remind ourselves that we are in the thick of it with two young kids, both working. And it's really hard. We did both last night sit at the dining table opposite each other, just on our laptops working. And I was thinking, this is just, so romantic. I definitely wish we had more time together without the kids doing nice things, but I think you just have to make the most out of your own situation. I am going to put some waves into my hair. I got my hair cut and colored by the way, so I got the whole thing tinted, so all my grays are gone. And actually I think it's nice. I just wanted like a chocolatey brown, nothing too warm. I think it just looks kind of healthy-ish. Um, you can tell that my hair is much thicker at the top, it kind of mushrooms and then gets thinner at the bottom and that's just because of the regrowth and because of the breakage at the ends, but it looks a lot healthier now I've had it cut. 
I'm gonna just put in some waves with my straighteners and then start thinking about what I'm gonna wear to my mum's birthday lunch. Lol, my watch just said, off to a great start. Don't stop now, Lily. Your exercise ring is way ahead for this time of day. I've done the school run and I've just walked up and down my stairs. <laughs> oh no, the school's calling me. <clears throat> Hello? Oh my goodness, okay, everything's fine, but that was a 20 minute phone call, so now I'm running late. Let me show you what I'm wearing today. I've kept on my Uniqlo Heat Tech long sleeve top because it's just like a basic, a basic layer. And then I've put on this top from Whistles. It's a knitted vest. I didn't get enough use out of my vests when it was warm enough to not wear sleeves, but I think it looks all right with a uh, long sleeve, especially if it's black, it kind of blends in, looks a little bit like a cardigan. It's got these nice tortoiseshell buttons. I'm wearing these trousers, which are from Arquette. Can you see them? I feel very far away. I can't see you anymore, but they're a really nice like kind of thicker structured trouser in this grey colour. Um, I really like the fit of them. I don't know, the grey makes them look a little bit like too smart for my liking, but I think I'm probably going to throw on some Converse, which just like chills it out a little bit. If I wore like heels or brogues, I'd look like I was going to an office, but I think if I add a trainer, it will make it a little bit more casual. And then I was going to just wear, have my Arquette bag as well. So let me talk you through the jewellery pieces that I'm wearing and the Cyber Week discounts that Miss Mer are running this week. So Cyber Week is running from the 21st to the 27th. Let me show you the pieces that I'm wearing today. Oh, it's so hard for me to always remember the name. Do you know what? I'm gonna pop the names on the screen whilst I'm talking through it, otherwise I'm gonna have to like keep checking the website. This is a necklace I have worn for years. I absolutely love it. This, as I mentioned, is 20% off, as is this one, which is new to my collection and so simple and gorgeous. I love this one. Perfect for layering. A lot of the Missima necklaces are just so good for layering. I was actually considering adding like another chain to this, but I think because I'm wearing the bigger earrings, it doesn't need it. This is the Lucy Williams flat curb chain necklace. I remember the name of this one because it's absolutely one of my faves. And this is part of the 30%. It's just gorgeous because it's flat. It sits so beautifully on your kind of collarbone area. These earrings, which I wore in Berlin, honestly, so, so gorgeous. I love a chunky gold earring these are 30% off like how amazing also the little chubby hoops I have worn these so many times so so easy to wear these are 20% off and if you like something a little bit more delicate I've got these which I wear and really, really like those. Those are also 20% off. I'm gonna link all of these down below for you, of course. In the 40% off category, I mentioned this chain, which is just like such a popular one for Missima. This would also look really nice with the black. These hoops, which I really love because they're a very thin, flat hoop, but they kind of, can you see how they kind of like, they bend? Really, really interesting shape. If you don't like just the usual hoop earrings, I think these are like a little bit more interesting. Those are also 40% off. And then these hoops that I'm wearing, which are, they're also kind of flat and they're medium. These are 30% off. These are so, so nice and easy to wear as well. Really kind of lightweight. I love like a lightweight earring. How nice, so many nice pieces. I'm gonna link everything down below in details of the Cyber Week discount that Missima are running. And if you search for my name on the Missima website, you'll find my edit, all of my favorite pieces which kind of makes it a bit easier to shop if you're interested. So I think I'm ready to head to King's Cross. I'm getting hungry and excited for lunch. This is the card I got for my mum's birthday. <laughs> Thought she'd appreciate that, so I'm gonna quickly write that before I head out. Wow, they're building something, something interesting here in King's Cross. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but there's a lot of straw trees. Maybe it's like a Christmassy thing. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful weather today. I popped on my hat because one, it keeps my hair in place. Also, it's a little bit chilly, but it's beautifully sunny and crisp and King's Cross is looking beautiful. I also love this little bit of King's Cross. When it's really hot and sunny, these trees provide like the perfect amount of shade. I just think it's so clever. I feel like every open space should have this. Lena Stores is just further down from where Dishoom is. I'm pretty sure it's just down here on the corner. There's also a really great pizza place called Happy Face, I think, Happy Pizza or something. Like on this road here, it's really great. Okay, this is where I'm going. Happy birthday, mum. You don't look a day over 50. You actually don't. That's what everyone's gonna say. Pomegranate. We've got burrata, focaccia, and grilled corns. Okay, me and Carly are sharing. This one's a sausage one. Is that the sausage one? Yeah. Sausage, mushroom. mushroom. This one's truffle and egg yolk. Mum got artichoke 
ravioli. Dad got crab. Looking good. It looks delicious. Happy birthday, birthday Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Mom. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Guys, I'm home now. It's much, much later. Lunch was so, so lovely. Um, I would highly recommend Lena stores. Like, so nice. Really lovely, like, small pasta plates. Like, so delicious. Like, how have I not been there before? I want to go back all the time. Every time I have a lunch meeting, I want it to be there. It was so good. And I think tonight for dinner... I'm just gonna make like a minestrone soup because I'm not that hungry after that lunch and we haven't got much stuff here. I got lots of compliments on my jewelry. My whole outfit actually when I went for lunch, that was nice. But it's time to take the jewelry off, get into my comfy clothes, do bath and bed with the kids, do some more work, make dinner and hopefully get a bit of TV time in as well if I can. Someone asked for the Q&A, which celebrity or celebrities would do you think you'd really get along with in real life? And I, have, I haven't thought of three. I'll think of more for future videos, but I will tell you one. I just listened to a podcast with Claudia Winkleman, and oh my god, I really think that we would get on so well. She just reminds me of so many people I know, and although that she said she doesn't like making new friends and she feels like a bit overwhelmed by it and she'd rather kind of be left alone, I just think we'd really be great friends. So yeah, that is the first name that came to mind. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't forget to check out the description box for all of the information on Miss Mer and the Black Friday Cyber Week deals. Get involved, they are amazing. I'll link all the pieces I mentioned and stuff down below in the description box as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.